wanted, in no uncertain terms, for me to change my name when we married. I should have known better. It was unspellable, <laughs> especially for customer service people serving me from God knows where. Unpronounceable. I introduced him by first name only for the first three weeks we dated because I was afraid I'd mangle it. And my birth name was much less confusing on both counts. I was established professionally, but I wanted to make him happy. So I changed my middle name to my maiden name, and I stuck his surname on the end of my moniker like an unwieldy caboose. <laughs> but there was another reason I chose to become Mrs. Him. <laughs> I was over 40 and about to become a member of the Married Woman's Club for the first time. And so having my last name followed by a new last name, having, in effect, two last names, made it obvious to the world that I was no longer single and doomed to die alone in an apartment where I had choked a pillow and said, which I was married! <laughs> now that I have announced my plans to separate and divorce, it astounds me how many friends are relieved I'm changing my name again. You never should have changed your name in the first place. <laughs> Second five. Why did you do it? It's such an awful name. <laughs> how can I make them understand when I don't even understand? I was wrapped up in the fantasy that a new name would ensure my becoming a new, improved version of myself, a wife at last. Somewhere deep inside, the Donna Reed I didn't even know was in there was itching to get out. <laughs> Putting a Mrs. before my name proved to be a time-consuming project, but the heady feeling of being a newlywed made it fun. Unfortunately, when the time came to return to my maiden name, the same amount of paperwork was just a chore and one that I slogged through. And as if the hours of talking to Bob, Steve, or Rick in Sri Lanka were not enough to make me want to scream, <laughs> They informed me in broken, mangled English that my husband had to call them and give his permission <laughs> oh, to put no. my new slash old name back on everything like utilities, TV, telephone, mortgage, just to name a few. Can't you be reasonable and take my word for it, I would plead. He's moved out and I'm still here. I hate saying words like maiden name and divorced. And I'm tired of reassuring the operators in Sri Lanka that it's really all for the best. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't very well tell them the truth. I will miss being a missus more than I care to admit. And that confuses me. The only thing I'm sure of is that I plan to stay me the next time around, if there ever is one, and save myself a lot of paperwork. Mm-hmm. <laughs>